Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is February 1st, first Wednesday of the second month of the year. Each day, my dear brothers and sisters, is God's blessing for all of us. Yes, we receive and we embrace in order to continue our spiritual journey together with God's presence, who is always faithful to us. Every day is also our fulfillment of our identity. Identity to be true, image, and likeness of God. By achieving this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all striving to be such the expectation of God to be truly the children of God, truly the image and likeness of God. Along our striving journey, we endure trials. We encounter difficulties in life. Totoo po yan. Marami po tayong nararanasan na pagsubok o hamon sa buhay. Always present in our lives the trials that we have. Our lives always accompanied with trials. We cannot deny that is true in our own journey. Individually, mayroon po tayong pinagdadaanan at mayroon tayong hinaharap na hamon sa buhay. These trials, my dear brothers and sisters, that we have in our first reading of today translated to us as discipline. Discipline. Trials that we have translated to us as discipline. Discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later, it will bring the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. Disiplina ang tunay na pamamaraan upang maging lubos na maging maayos o masasaayos ang buhay natin. May kahirapan at dapat nating maging matyaga ang bawat isa sa atin. Ayaw kasi po natin mahirapan sa buhay natin. Again, always remember, trials is always translated into a discipline for all of us. Huwag tayong maging duwag. Huwag tayong maging mahina na harapin ang mga pagsubok na yan. Sa mga pagsubok na yan, my dear brothers and sisters, doon tayo nakikilala ng Diyos. Doon tayo pinapatatag ng ating Panginoon. Dahil ito ang kinakailangan natin upang maging tunay tayong matibay sa ating buhay pang araw-araw. Mahina ang loob kung duwag harapin ang mga pagsubok sa buhay. Walang nagtatagumpay sa buhay kung hindi hinaharap ang hamon sa buhay. Mga kapatid, ito po ang paalala sa atin upang tayo'y maging tunay na naglalakbay kasama ang ating Panginoon. Through our discipline, my dear brothers and sisters, we are bringing to the image of God that is firm and strong to uphold the Spirit of God that is to live out truly in our everyday lives. Walang masasayang kung totoong may disiplina ang sarili dahil ito ang totoong daan upang lubos nating makilala ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Walang ibang pamamaraan upang ang kabutihan ay mapahalagahan. Discipline is one character, one values that we have, that we give value that God has done for all of us. This is true appreciation of real presence of God in us. Looking in our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, gives us an opposite 
of what discipline being real in one individual, being real in one person, that is rejection. We heard the real situation on how the rejection happens. Rejection, especially by our own relatives, mga mahal natin sa buhay, even our brothers and sisters, our countrymen, can be a very painful experience. Even Jesus in our gospel today was experienced rejection, human attitude that leads to being judgmental or to underestimate his full identity. Jesus is ignored by his own neighbors because of his family background. Very sad, my dear brothers and sisters, not recognizing our Lord because this is Jesus according to external or standard of the world. That is why we are telling today, my dear brothers and sisters, if a person is not mindful, rejection can lead to depression. Again, I will repeat, my dear brothers and sisters, if a person is not mindful, rejection can lead to depression, which when not attended well, can lead us to insanity or even worse. That is the effect of rejection that all of us can do powerfully to our fellow men. Kaya nating gawin na may kalakasang loob para husgahan ang ating kapwa. This is our human tendency every day. Ang lakas ng loob natin na mangusga ng kapwa-tao natin. Pero yung effect, hindi po natin naiisip. Again, we go back to our own discipline. If we are disciplined ourselves, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are mindful about our action, our words, utter from our mouths to other people. Rejection can lead to depression, lead to de destroy oneself. Ito po yung hinihingi sa atin ng ating, mga, ng ating Panginoon na sana kilalanin po natin ang isang tao, ang biyaya ng Diyos, hindi sa ating standard. Because if we sees our brothers and sisters according to the standard of the world, we are being judgmental to them. Our identity based on God's gift, mother, brothers and sisters, should be standard to be appreciate one another. That is why we are truly appreciate God's blessing, God's deed to us, which is translated again to our faith. Kung tayo'y naniniwala at sumasampalataya sa Diyos, pahalagahan po natin ang mga galaw at biyaya ng bawat isa sa atin. We seize other people, we seize our brothers and sisters being likeness and image of God. And for that, my dear brothers and sisters, hindi po natin masasayang ang ating pagsusumikap na ating sundan ang kalooban ng Diyos. Because if we forgotten our own discipline that we apply in our own self every day, ito po'y mangyayari at mangyayari sa buhay natin. Hindi po natin namamalayan. We are rejected or we are doing rejection other people. We are doing rejection other people because we are not mindful because our mind and our hearts is not accordance with to God's will. My dear brothers and sisters, appreciation of God's blessing, appreciation of God's graces bestowed upon us. Sana po nangyayari po ito sa buhay natin. May iwasan po natin ang being 
judgmental, nagre-reject ng ating kapatao. Amen.